welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to share with you my five top tips to make your balloon garlands look way more professional. So let's jump straight into it, you guys, with number one, which is use branded balloons. This makes the world of difference. Honestly, this tiny little change that you implement from using Amazon and eBay to branded balloons, you guys, thank me later because believe me when I say there is no other way to make your balloon garlands look top quality this will be the make or break to begin with okay so branded balloons who are they where do you find them um, it's such a minefield when you first get started so let me share with you my top favorite brands which are Calisan, Qualitex, Sempertex, Tuftex and Gemma, they are my top five brands. My all time favorite is Calisan. I love using Tuftex as well. Qualitex have a really good um, reputation too. Um, and all of these brands are just fantastic for both indoors, outdoors, and um, they will last way longer than any Amazon balloon. The shade range, the size range, like it's it's crazy how far this stretches, okay? So I actually have a list of wholesalers and discounts for both the UK and the US over on my Academy page. So I will leave the link down below if you want the list of suppliers and discounts that we can give to you. Um, so that is number one, 100% the Bloom brands. Number two, it's over inflating your blooms. You guys, blooms aren't meant to be pear shaped or egg shaped. This was something that I had no idea about when I first started. I genuinely thought that if they weren't like this shape, then they weren't blown up properly. Like I, that's genuinely my mindset. I thought round blooms were a completely different like, ball game. I didn't even know anything about that my knowledge was zilch but this tiny little method will take your garland from a two to a ten let me tell you okay so making sure that you are letting the air out of your blooms so they are nice and round that they are not egg shaped they are not pear shaped for so so many reasons you guys this is so important so don't over inflate your blooms Number three is to use the correct techniques. So there are an abundance of techniques used in the balloon industry and every artist is different. Every balloon educator will teach a different technique because there is no right or wrong. It's what you connect with, with what you enjoy the most. So without diving too much into the methods, I'm going to tell you the methods to probably avoid. Um, just from my own previous experience, uh, the ones that didn't work well for me and the ones that didn't make my balloon garlands look professional. That would be number one, the balloon strips that you get from Amazon. Stop spending hours, you guys, poking those necks and the nuts through the little holes on a balloon strip. It doesn't look good. They're very hard to manipulate. Um, it's not the way to get that professional finish. Um, the same thing goes for curling ribbon. Now, don't shoot me, you guys, okay? An unpopular opinion, but fishing line as well. I personally, and again, this is a personal experience, if you, if you use bloom tape, if you use fishing line, if you use curling ribbon, this is not personal. This is just personal opinions from me, from my experience and what worked for me and what didn't. And bloom um, tape, fishing line, and also curling ribbon, did not work I would be wrapping getting tangled up in that fishing line like no one's business and then when I'd got to the client's house half of the balloons had deflated because when you were pulling on that ribbon or pulling on that fishing wire and um, it will slightly cut your balloons and the balloons will slowly deflate which obviously does not give that professional finish at the end so Guys, don't come for me. That is just a personal opinion and I'd rather be honest with you. <laughs> so number four 
is to make sure that you are using a range of different sizes. So this makes a world of difference because it gives you texture, it gives you depth, it gives you contrast, and it makes it look a lot more organic. So for example, when you get a pack from Amazon, majority of the time they are just 12 inch balloons and it can make your garland look quite rigid. By adding different sizes, it will make your garlands appear more professional and like I said, a lot more organic. And number five, you guys, you don't have to do this tip, but believe me when I say it does make your garlands look way more professional, and that is double stuffing. So double stuffing is essentially putting one balloon inside another balloon for a custom colour to make the pigment stronger and to make the balloons last longer. These balloons here are double stuffed apart from the white balloons. I don't know what ones you can see right now. So these ones here are double stuffed and I have basically put a pastel blue inside a white and the pigment is so much stronger and they look so much more professional. I personally love double stuffing balloons. Of course, you guys, number one, it's going to cost more money, so you need to be charging your client that. And number two, it's going to take up more time, okay? But it is so worth it if you want that real professional look from your garlands. So try and implement these five tips. Leave a comment down below if they did help you. And also what videos you would like me to film because I will be planning my content for the rest of the summer and, and would love your input. Like I said, you guys, if you want any tutorials, any wholesalers, discounts, suppliers, um, all of my classes I will link below on the Academy right now so that is for worldwide artists doesn't matter where you are on your journey yet so click that link get all the information that you need and thank you so much for joining me guys I will see you in the next one bye